All right, what's going on everybody? Today, I'm just gonna kinda go over uh, my thought press, uh, my thought process when it comes to doing uh, character. There's many different ways to do it and each artist is different. Um, and when it comes to character drawing, you have artists that do crazy exaggerations where they will exaggerate whatever key feature that that particular artist sees on you so if they perceive you as having big ears they will exaggerate that if they uh they think you have a large nose or a small nose they will uh change that they will exaggerate it or make it smaller vice versa so that's kind of what character is character art it's a lot different than doing a portrait because when you're doing a portrait you're doing everything exactly as you see it where a uh, character you can go from one extreme to the other and so there are there's one book that a lot of character artists this is almost like I guess you could say the bible of character artists I guess you could say and this is a book by Tom Richmond uh, he used to do a lot of uh, artwork for Mad Magazine just making sure that doesn't have a lot of flashing on it and so and in this book it goes it goes into um, exag uh, uh, exaggeration which you can kind of see there And so this is a good book, uh, especially if you're going to go into character art and you're going to do a uh, lot of exaggerations. But honestly, for me, the book that worked for me the best was this book called Face Off. And let me make sure that's looking fine. Yes, this is what helped me a lot. And it's by Harry Hamannick. Both these books you can get on Amazon. But what I like about this book, it, it, it really just kind of goes from the basics. Uh, let me find something here. It just kind of goes into the basics of, it shows, it shows the photograph and then it shows kind of step by step. And it gives you a lot, a lot of ideas on how to do the eyes, and so forth so and so forth i mean so this is uh but as with anything everything takes practice when i first started doing character work i was really really nervous because I, i've always done portraiture and i had to draw everything exactly as i saw it and with character character work you're not really doing that you want to get a likeness but it doesn't have to be exact before we get started there's a couple of things that you'll need to know Let's make this black. you have to have an idea of facial structure because people's faces are shaped differently we're gonna get the puffy in a minute well you know what we'll we'll leave it up so there are people who have different shapes as far as face wise. You have some people who faces are shaped like a square, some people's faces that are round, some people's faces that are shaped kind of a triangle. And so you want to have an idea of where the key features are, like where the eye is going to go in relationship to where the ears go and the mouth. So when you're looking at a person, you're already in your head having an idea of what type of shape face does this person have. This pen doesn't draw exactly like a I, I would if it was it doesn't draw like it would if I had a magic marker so you want to have an idea of what shape 
face that person has. So let's erase this. Now some character artists will start out with a pencil first. Where they will um, they start out with a pencil first and then go over the pencil line with the marker. They'll just get a rough draft idea with the pencil and then go in with the marker. And then there are some that don't use a pencil at all. They will go straight in with the marker and from there. Excuse me. When I started out, I started out with a pencil. And then uh, I got to a point where I was like, okay, I have to challenge myself to just be able to go in with a marker. And that was very, uh, it was very daunting at first. And then I, I had to, I, for me as an artist, I had to assess myself. I said to myself, I've been looking at people's faces my whole life. Even when I'm not drawing a person's face, I'm looking at a person's face. I'm looking at their facial features. I'm looking at how their nose is. I'm looking at how their eyebrows are shaped. I'm looking at their ears. So I'm all I'm already doing that. I just had to apply that in my head. See those shapes and lines in my head and then just apply it to the paper. So what I had to do and what really helped me was, was to just go. Put the put the line down on the paper oh this pen doesn't do what I want it to do put the line down on the paper and then just go from there that's what I that's what I I had to learn to uh, do and it's like whatever marks you put down Do it, um, do it boldly, put the mark down, move on. Because what was happening with me was I would overthink and then I would look at every little detail and try and draw every little detail and then that would mess me up. So my advice is if you're going to do character art, just go with the flow. See what you see, draw it move on to the next next part so let's look at this picture of puffy let's go on this top layer let's get yellow so when i'm approaching i'm looking at someone i'm making observations what do i see does this person have a square head do they have an oval head do they have a triangle shaped head what shape of head do they have and I'm thinking to myself, okay, where do I want to attack this? Do I want to start from the inside out, starting with the eyes, and then work on the outside of the face? Or do I want to start on the outside and work my way in? So it's a lot of different things that are going on in your head as soon as you look at the person. So when I look at Puffy, what am I, what am I noticing? I'm noticing he has a kind of a short area here. And then from this part down, this, that's more space from this part down that's one thing I'm noticing another thing I'm noticing is his eyebrows I noticed that and I noticed that his eyes are slanted so those are kind of the key things I notice so we're gonna we're gonna sketch him real quick. Let's see. Ah, quit that. All right. So we have a black. Put on this layer. All right. So.
So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, let's get his top of his forehead there. Let's go out to his cheek, down, around to his chin. Gonna go up top. He's got a bit of that eddy, so we'll get that. Go around. Around, around his cheek, and so forth. All right, so let's do an ear. He's got those big earrings, so we just put, put that there. And we get this ear. Feeling my, just kind of feeling my way around. This feels so much different than an actual marker, so you gotta bear with me on that. So let's get his neck. Tell you what, let's do that. Mm, let's get this bow tie, like so. Let's get that, 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 that. All right. Next, let's uh, let's get these eyebrows. So, so eyebrows like that. We're gonna we're gonna exaggerate. Let's let's exaggerate. So, make his eyebrows really thick. So we'll exaggerate that point. Now we're looking at his eyes. He has those droopy eyes. So we're gonna droop him like that. Mustache. Let's connect that. And okay, he's got those finger waves, so we just we gonna do it like this here. But you get the you get the idea. All 
Ah, this pen. Brushes. Getting a little bit of a headache here. All right, so let's get the bow tie. Control this versus a real pen. All right, but you all you all get the uh, you get the idea. Okay, so we got that a puffy. All right, so let's move on to the next. Okay, so with this next one, I uh, quit that. Yeah. All right, so with this next one, what do we see? When I first look at it, the first thing I notice is that he doesn't have very much space there. Then I notice that his cheekbones here come out really far like that and then the bottom part of his face here is very long which you could exaggerate that's what I noticed and I noticed that he has thick eyebrows he has a little nose and it's the distance from here to there it's very long, long distance. And then you notice his eyes, he doesn't like really have eyelids, so to speak. The skin over, the skin comes over the eyelid. So it's just a line. So that's what I'm looking at when I look at it. And I see he has big ears. So when I look at it, that's, that's what I'm, I'm looking at is that. So we'll take all that off and we will do a quick sketch of this. Let's go back to the black. Now there are many ways I could, I could start this out. Mm, I could start out with the ears. So, go in with his cheekbone and down. Go this way up, over, down, around, here. So that my long neck, shoulders there. He's got some hair, so we could draw some hair right there. And then we're looking at the shape of his hair. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you just want to get you want to look at thing in, things in shapes. 
So when I look at there, I see that his hair just kind of goes up like that and then over. Straight up and then kind of over. Alright. So tell you what, let's go ahead and draw some hair in right here. And we can do like this here. There's no set rule as far as what you start with first. It's all a matter how you how you're feeling at at that moment. Sometimes I'll I'll start with the glasses first, you know. All right, so. Let's get these eyebrows. He's got thick eyebrows, so I'll, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna exaggerate them. And this looks like it goes kind of up some, so we're gonna exaggerate them. Make them extra thick, like so. All right, and we're gonna, we get the other eyebrow. And we'll do that in the same way. Eye. The eye looks like it has sort of a slant, so we're going to do a bit of a slant. You can't see the full circle of his eye, so we just do like half a, half a circle there. Okay. And we got this other eye. So he has he has a he has a long nose and a small nose. So we we'll put his nose way down here. Draw a little nose. And he has a little bitty mouth. So So we have him as a character. And then I will assign it 2024. So that's the basics of uh, how I do a character. So I hope uh, this kind of helps anybody out there just kind of wanting to learn about character work. Oops. Alright, you all, be cool. Peace out.